My name is Ronnie Daniels. I'm in Montgomery, Alabama. I'm a third year beekeeper. Uh, this is my first video, so I don't know how to edit, and this camera that I got on eBay some time back uh, will only record in 10 minutes, 10 minute increments, so this is going to be a short video. But I wanted to show you my hives, and um, I'm still learning about beekeeping, but I'm hoping that we can learn together. And uh, I wanted to kind of give you a brief tour this morning, uh, or this afternoon, on uh, the hives that I have. <clears throat> I started with two hives in the spring and looked up how to do splits on YouTube. By the way, there are a lot of good people on YouTube that are very helpful. And I want, I'll name them maybe in another video so you can subscribe to them. They're really good at uh, teaching you a lot of things you need to know about beekeeping. But I'm going to put my veil on because I, I don't mind getting stung. But I've learned really quickly to at least wear a veil when you're walking around the bees because uh, I've been stung. The worst sting I had was on the nose. And I'm going to tell you, it felt like somebody punched me in the nose. So hang on just a second, okay? Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's my first time filming, so um, probably going to be a little rough with the camera, but I'm going to show you the hives that I have and tell you a little bit about them. Uh, this, this hive here is one of the first ones that I got uh, a couple of years ago. It is a has swarm happy genetics, and uh, right there in that spot was where I had another hive that got poisoned my second year, it was a good one, and uh, they got into poison and it just took took the whole hive out. And then I uh, had another hive, I don't remember which one that was, but here's the rest of the colonies here. Um, here's one doing, has some new foragers getting out while the rain has stopped. There's another one, and another one another one and there's one and then here I have some nukes um, one there one there one here and then I caught a tiny little swarm uh, I'm in Alabama so the weather stays warmer longer but I caught this swarm in September one of mine and it's a tiny little thing and, and so I just put the box there when I caught them I plan on moving them but uh, Shortly after uh, they got queen right, the uh, queen got mated and started laying, uh, I looked in there uh, two weekends ago and they had a bunch of supersedure cells and there was no sign of the queen. So uh, I stole one of the queen cells and put it with another little tiny little swarm that I caught in late September. And these are this one and the other one that I caught a couple of weeks ago are kind of experimental because the weather is running out on us here in Alabama. Uh, it does stay warmer here longer, but I, the drone population I'm sure is down. So I uh, don't know if they're going to make it or not. I'll help them a little bit, but uh, it was just kind of me learning since I have now have the resources to be able to play a little bit with bees. So um, there are some things you really need to know about beekeeping <clears throat> that hopefully I'll cover in some upcoming videos but if you're a new beekeeper and you're starting out uh, try to go ahead and start with two hives um, that way if you get in a pinch uh, with one of your hives you can use resources from the other hive to save it uh, that's um, people told me that I was very lucky that I went to a beekeeping class before I start beekeeping and that's one of the things they told me was to start with two hives and even if you don't know what to do, uh, start with them. And if you don't know what to do, go ahead and get the equipment for two, two colonies. That way um, you may wind up with a swarm or something and you, you will be able to hopefully catch that swarm. Or you can do a split. Somebody can teach you how to do that. So you already have the equipment ready to be able to do a split and have another colony. So that would be one of my first recommendations to anybody that's new at beekeeping. <clears throat> is to uh, 
try to start with two colonies or at least get the equipment to have two colonies. Uh, I'm in Montgomery, Alabama, by the way. I'm 55 years old. I uh, don't like public speaking, so I'm hoping that this will help me with my public speaking. And I guess that's going to be about it for this video. I'll show you around uh, where I live maybe next time. I live right here next to a speedway. Let me see if I can get it in the video. Uh, well, it's back over there. Uh, there's a speedway. And they uh, race uh, certain times of year before it gets winter. You know, they race from spring to winter. So, um, right here beside it, and across the road there, you can't see it, but I live across the road from Gunner Hill Campground. Well, the camera's not uh, over that way. Anyway, it's a very popular uh, campground. It's a Corps of Engineer campground, and as far as foraging around here, it's just a mix of what's available. I don't live uh, next to any farms, so there's really no uh, farm uh, vegetation for them to forage, but there's a lot of wildlife stuff. So, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I only have 10 minutes that I can record, and I think I'm about to run out. So, thanks for watching. I'll keep making more videos, and uh, uh, be back soon.